Hello beautiful people. In today's video I'm going to be doing this bright pink lip with this eye here. I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. In today's video I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. Um, it's going to be kind of like, I'm doing my makeup reverse. I've already done my foundation. I want to do a pink lip today, and I want to do something kind of different from the eyes than I normally do. Usually I put shimmer, you know, something in the crease in the outer corner, all that jazz. Today I just felt like doing something different. Um, I wanted to do like a brighter, funner makeup. Might end up turning out like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes in the end. But I'm going to be wearing a pink lip, and I wanted to kind of match the eyes to the lip. So I already did my foundation, and for foundation today I mixed the Guerlain L'Essentiel. What is this one? The Natural Glow Foundation and I mix the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I mix these together. I do like experimenting with different foundations to mix together. I am liking, still liking this. I'm going to do a um, update review on that soon. Uh, for highlight, I have on my Natasha Denona Super Glow in medium. And then I haven't done blush yet because I want to see, you know, what. I want to do my lip and then match everything to my lip. So I think I'm going to start off with the lip first, and I th think I've decided to go with this one here from MAC, it's called Pink Pigeon, in the viewfinder it's looking a lot more cool cool tone, uh, blue base than in real life, in real life it's more of a, a warm pink, warm medium pink. So I'm going to start by doing that, and I'm not sure if I have to zoom in or put my viewfinder down, I'm not really too, uh, let me just, alright, so I'm going to start by putting a lip liner on. This one's from Annabelle. Uh, it's called Hot Pink, I think. But use whatever pink lip liner you have, if you're following along. And I like to start out lining my lips first just to give a base or like a guide. That's where my lip stick is going to go. Now I have a slightly crooked smile when I smile, so if I don't pay attention to bring up the one cupid bow um, to match the other one when I'm smiling, when I have like bright lipstick on, you can really see the difference. So I always forget to do this, but I'm going to do this today because I just remembered. I'm going to smile, and I think it's this one that has to go up more. There. I think that works. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother filling my lips in. But I'm going to take my lipstick, and I'm going to go over it carefully. It's hard putting lipstick on in the viewfinder when you're trying to concentrate. It's like multitasking. For me anyway. Okay. And then I'm going to take this lip liner here just to fill off, fill off just to uh, fill in any spots that I missed. Now this isn't that bright of a lip, usually if I'm going brighter, this will take a lot longer to do and I wouldn't be able to do it on camera. But this is a fairly forgiving shade, so that works out in my favor. Just patting it on now to fill in any spaces that the lip uh, liner. Patting it on to fill in any spaces that the lip liner may have like made, like brush strokes. When you are wearing a brighter lip, it's good to exfoliate your lips beforehand, just so it's not picking up any dry skin on your lipstick, and just so it makes it smooth and even. Oh, you can't even see that. Sorry, I'm just adding lip liner here. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now that the lip is on, for eyes, I'm doing something different. I'm going to do a matte lid. <gasps> I debated on doing something with glitter, 
or something with just matte and I want to be I want to do something a little bit different glitter would have been fun maybe I'll do that in another tutorial coming up but I'm gonna do a matte lid today we'll see how that goes okay so I wanted uh, not something too pink and I wanted not something too brown so I'm using for me this is uh, an older eyeshadow it's from bare minerals it's called pebble it's in it's a loose shadow and I'm gonna take that into the crease. I also used a different eye base today. I used the Anastasia eye primer just because I wanted something that was gonna um, really help make the shadow I'm gonna put on like really pop because it's a lighter shade. Are you done? Okay, so I'm gonna take this on my brush here and I'm just gonna start adding that lightly to the crease. I think I might want it, Sebastian. I, think I might want to use a fluffier brush. I don't want it to be like an intense wash of color. Hopefully, I'm zoomed in enough for you. This might be too brown. I have yet to find the perfect crease color to use when I'm doing like a bright pink lip. I find they always lean too peachy or too brown or um, I don't want to go too too pink because I, I don't know I just feel like it's too much pink when you do like a bright pink look like as much as I want it to match I want it to not be too matchy matchy if that makes any sense okay so I'm just taking this in the outer corner here I think I might just do the one eye and then do the other eye off camera just because I did spend the time doing the lip and I just don't want this to be like a 30 minute video I think I might add lashes too I don't know we'll see uh, but sometimes it's fun to, to do the lip first and then build from there. I always do my eyes and then do the lip and it always ends up being like a nude. So I thought it would be fun to do a bright lip and then build a look off of that. Okay, I think that looks pretty blended on camera. It doesn't look like it's blended right there so much, but in real life it's a seamless blend. Um, I don't think I need any brow bone highlight right now. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of Ebony Strange. It is um, like a satin matte, so it's going to give a nice little bit of a, just a teeny little bit of a sheen. I've already done, already done my eyebrows, so I don't want to get anything in there. It didn't make much of a difference, but okay. Now for the lid, I'm not sure if I'm going to need a base or not, but I'm going to go in with the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. And I'm taking this shade here called Sweet Cream. It's a light, 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 like white pink. So, what is the best brush to apply that with? Um, let's go with this brush here. I'm not sure if this is the best choice. I'm not usually used to working with an all matte. Oh, give me one moment, please. All right, Sebastian had to go potty. Okay, so dipping into that sweet cream. I'm not sure how this is going to go down. Okay, so far so good. I like the way this is looking. Okay, but I'm using an all matte on my eyelid. I don't do this very often. But I haven't been happy with the way my bright lip looks have been turning out lately, so I wanted to try something different. So here we are. And I thought I'd film it because it was different. I feel like I do a lot of the same... Not tutorials, but like, you know, the base, the base of it. Anyways. <sighs> Is he annoying you? It's kind of annoying me and I always feel bad. Okay, so I just took my little um, 217 synthetic brush from MAC and I just blended uh, the light into the pink a little bit. Uh, so far I'm liking the way that looks. For the inner corner, I'm going to add a bit of... So like, I don't want to add shimmer, but I want to add sheen. So I'm trying to find... Okay, maybe I'll take... Okay, so I have this mic... Um, MAC eyeshadow called Naked Lunch and I usually do an inner corner just to connect everything so I'm going to take this today. It's not exactly a matte but it's not exactly a shimmer. Um, it doesn't say what it's on it but it's like to me it's a sheen. Really? Why do you hate when I'm talking to the camera? So I'm taking that on my fluffy brush just so I don't pick up a lot of product. I'm just going to buff this into the inner corner here and blend all those together and it just made just a bit of a difference taking some more of that white shadow on my brush and I'm just going to add some more to the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm going to go have to put Sebastian away. Um, 
while I go and do that, I'm going to catch up the other eye and then figure out what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. I might add eyeliner as well. Yes, I think I'm going to add eyeliner. But I think that's it for the lid. Where's my brush? I might just add a little bit more of that dark the brown just to be I lost a little bit of it there okay I'm gonna add eyeliner finish up the other eye and I'll come back and uh, see how we're gonna finish up the lower lash line okay so I did the eyeliner finish up this eye um, for eyeliner I decided to go with like um, a pencil and then putting powder on top of it so I made a wing with this burgundy pencil here that I have and then I topped it off with this Pat McGrath purple um, aubergine I think it's called eyeshadow. I could have used the one from uh, Dominique Cosmetics, but I want something a little bit darker. So this is how it turned out. Okay, so for the lower lash line in the inner corner, I'm going to keep it fairly uh, simple. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take... I think I'm taking this one here. Or I'll take... Because I, I want something there, but not something too strong. Um, something really really light so I'm going to take a pencil brush not a super stiff a super stiff one I'm going to take something with a little bit more give so I'm going to use this one here from uh, ABH one of their brushes dual ended brushes that came with one of their palettes and I'm going to go in do I want this one or do I want this one oh, I can't decide maybe I'll use both Okay, so Naked Lunch, the same thing I used on the inner corner here, and this one is Jest. Let's start with Jest. I'm just going to take a little bit on this brush here, and I'm just going to take it directly under the lash line. I'm not using anything to uh, intensify it or to set it. I'm just strictly taking this over top of the concealer that I have under my eyes. And that gives the perfect amount of something something, but not much. If that makes any sense. Okay. So I don't know, does this count to shimmer? To me it's not shimmer, to me it's a sheen. Oh, I hate it when it gets in my eye. Um, but yeah, maybe some people consider that. So I, Oh, and I want to clarify. Sorry, I'm jumping from point to point. When I said I have never done all matte on my lids before, I meant I've never done all matte on my lid with a bright look. Clearly I've done matte looks on my eyelids before. Anyways, just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so for the inner corner I'm taking my Norvina palette here and I'm going to use the shade Wild Child, this nice little pink color. And I'm going to use that for my inner corners just to add a pop. And yes, this is going to be shimmer. Oh, where's my brush? Okay. And take that on the inner corner just for a pop. I'm actually going to wet it with a little bit of setting spray here. And by setting spray, I mean Max Fix Plus. It's not setting spray. Uh, but I'm just going to take a little bit of a dab out and put it on a container because I don't spray. I don't like to spray it. I feel like it's a bit of a waste. So I'm just going to wet my brush in that just a teeny little bit, not too, too much. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to take it over top. Now, I'm kind of regretting doing this because now this is looking a little bit darker than I anticipated. I want something a little bit lighter. I mean, can you see that? I can't even see it on the viewfinder at all. Sorry, I accidentally took my phone off vibrate, and um, yeah, apparently I'm getting a text message. Okay, um, I don't love how that's looking. I hate it when I'm like on a roll with a makeup look, and then I do something, and then it ruins it. To save the day, we're going to go in with this color here from the Dominique Cosmetics palette. It's called Sugar Cookies, and I'm not wetting my brush with that. Um, there's going to be enough on here that I feel like if I wet it, it's just going to give me a lot of texture. I'm just taking this directly over top and that's better and I'm just gonna work it a little bit into the lower lash line all right I like that much better okay good we saved the look okay um for my lower waterline I'm just taking a little bit of nude eyeliner here this is from ABH 
my old one, Camille. I don't even know if it's available anymore. All right. Now, for blush, I'm going to go in with a party from Tarte. It's almost gone. Can you imagine? I mean, can you believe that? I've hit pan on a blush. I mean, given it's small, but... Alright, for once I'm liking my makeup when I'm wearing a hot pink color on my lip. Usually I don't. I just like, it's fine, but like, it's not like my favorite. But I like how what I did with the eyes today, I really enjoy, I'm really enjoying the matte lid and the pop of shimmer on the inner corner and then just the sheen on the lower lash line. I think that's very pretty. Okay. I'm going to need a little bit of my powder today to blend my pores in with my blush. So I'm taking uh, this hourglass powder here, diffuse light with a little bit of, with a little sponge. And I'm just tapping between it. I put on um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter before foundation today. And I ended up putting it all over my face. And uh, it accentuated some pores in some areas, but that's okay. Okay, um, I'm going to apply mascara and pop on a couple outer corner lashes here and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. Alright, so here is the final look with the lashes. I almost feel like the lashes have ruined it. I kind of liked it before the lashes, um, but it is what it is. I mean, sometimes this happens. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the overall tutorial of this uh, look. Something a little brighter, a little more fun for the winter blues. I kind of felt like, you know, changing it up a bit, as I said at the beginning. Alright guys, um, I don't know, should I zoom in? My eyelashes are like wonky. But, this is what the eyes ended up looking like. This eye is the worst. Like, did not go well at all, but that's okay. Life goes on. Zoom all the way out. Alright. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.